Hey there. Uh, so I'm just knocking everything over. Sorry. I just grabbed these because I wanted to show you uh, these beautiful strawberries. I thought planting them in the ground, we would have to be super patient and wait years. But uh, Daryl, you're saying that planting the strawberries now, it's not too cold, it's not too early, and we could actually right. be eating these strawberries in a few months. That's right. Yeah, strawberries are uh, one of the fruits that you can plant now, and you will have fruit this summer. That is really, really exciting to me. We have got so much on this table. This table is so full, it's which packed. is really exciting. You give me another table, I'll fill it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, great. This is exciting. So what can we plant now? What is the best thing to start with? Well, we have uh, things in different categories, like annual type things like the pansies. Okay. Those are uh, tolerant of the cold. You can plant those right now. We can plant the pansies right you now. You can plant those right now. Um, things, other edi uh, you know, edible things like lettuce, you could plant that right now. Right the, now, we could plant lettuce. Yep, it will take the, the cooler weather. Now, if we're going to get a hard frost, you might want to uh, throw a row cover over it, okay. protect it. But I actually had lettuce uh, survive all winter on me. It was a fairly no. mild, yeah. It was pretty cool. Um, so there's all kinds of things. We have perennials. Okay. Er, is this Dianthus? Th this er, Dianthus. Dianthus. Dianthus, okay. yep. That's why and you're the expert. Phlox. So, so, so tell me about these though. Where would those be best at? Um, all perennials, for the most part, grow in the sun, and there's some that will grow in, in shade to part sun, but you know, pretty much everything will do great in the sun. So, there's a mix here, mostly sun, but we have beautiful plant like Helleborus or, or Lenten Rose that is uh, sun or shade. And this is an evergreen perennial, and they come in uh, whites and greens and pinks. Oh my goodness. Um, peonies, these are like a June bloom, but they're starting to emerge out of the ground right now. Uh, candy tuft. You can plant all of this, this right now. You can plant all this right now. now. This to me looks like the thing I want to mow in my yard. Now this what is, is that? This is bamboo. This is oh. one of the few hardy bamboos for our climate. Okay. And it does really good. This is uh, uh, called Fargesia rufa. Oh. It, it only gets about as tall as I do, and it's a clump Is that all? Now. Yeah, about six feet tall. <laughs> okay. So a lot of bamboo can get 15 feet tall. Okay, good point, good point. But um, it's clump forming, so it doesn't run. Okay. You know, there's a lot of early season perennials that um, disappear, like this is lupine. Uh, oh, that it, is really unique. It's though, extremely, extremely popular. It blooms in the springtime. Uh, this is part of the West Country series. Oh. You want to come out early and get this now because it, it, it won't be here for much longer. A couple okay. weeks and these will all be gone, can't be gotten until next year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And those are perennials? They're perennials. Okay, and we've got uh, just about 30 seconds left. I know you've got plant food here because that yep. is super important, especially for the annuals. It, it's, this is important for all plants that you plant in the ground. This is a starter fertilizer. It's got microbiome um, rhizae in there, which is going to colonize the roots and help the plants get off to a really good start. And we have all kinds of shrubs that that's good for, you know, yeah. it's pure stuponica and azaleas. So good. Doesn't them? It does. Yeah, these, these are early bloomers. We're going to have all kinds of things that are going to be in bloom at all different times of the year. Oh my you goodness. Know, trees even, and evergreens. Even through the mask, it feels like spring. I'm yeah, smelling it right here. English Gardens, everybody. There are multiple locations throughout Metro Detroit, and there are experts like Daryl at every single one of the locations. Actually, nobody is like Daryl. Daryl is one of a kind, but oh, there are other well-trained people at uh, English Gardens at all the locations. We'll have information on our website. Jen, back to you.